All right, so this video is about uh, the secret, the secret um, to enjoy uh, EW12J4 and uh, ES engine attached with modern gearbox. Um, it depends. Now, now, this secret has to do with uh, your choice of which project model to go for. Even when you choose, um, uh, for example, depending on which of the engine, which I'll talk about, even when you choose a um, model that maybe I may not enjoy it as the other one, you can still modify it to enjoy it. So that's the secret I want to share in this video. Now, um, for Pojo cars produced from 2000 to 2010, 2000 to 2010, um, the engines for petrol engines that are Designed for performance are uh, mostly like EW10, EW10J4S, and uh, EW10. Okay, no, for e, four cylinder engine, EW10J4S, EW12J4, then this is, uh, of course, ES engine like ES9J4, ES9J4S, and ES9E. Of course, EW10T is there as well, but it's not that common, so I don't usually mention that. Uh, so now let's talk about specifically the ones with manual uh, transmissions. Now we have um, EW10D, you know EW10J4S. Um, that uh, you can enjoy as in. Let me leave that one for now. Let me focus on the one that um, a lot of people don't know about. Now, for performance sake, uh, the EW10. 12J4 and the ES engine, the V6 engines, uh, they are more fun to drive on Pojo models that are installed in than the ones that have automatic gearbox attached. I'm not saying those ones with automatic, uh, you can't enjoy them, but I'm saying the manual ones are more fun to drive uh, when it comes to when you want to do fun drive, which is different from okay, you want to speed, they are not the same thing. However, um, there are secrets also you need to know, you know, about which one uh, you may find uh, is it more comfortable? Should I use that word? For example, EW twelve J four used in Pojo, put in Pojo four six between two thousand I think two thousand or two thousand to uh, late two thousand and one or just two thousand to two thousand and two. Let's put it that way. Those ones they have um, clutch uh, components, specifically the clutch pressure plate, the clutch uh, friction plate, and the release bearing. These three components they are similar to that of VCs. The VCs I'm talking about is ES9 J4, ES9 J4S, and ES9A. When you look at the pressure plate, um, you will see, um, actually, especially the pressure plate, you see it when the design is completely different from every other Pojo clutch um, units you've been seeing. It's completely different. Uh, even the clutch fork and the way they go the other way, unlike the, the normal, the conventional method, like the one you find on other EW engines. So between that 2000 to 2004, for EW12 Gen4 engines, uh, they use the same with the VCs. Similar though, VCs is bigger, but you can't actually tell the difference, or it's only from the size. I can tell that oh, okay, this is for E12, this is for VCs. However, they tend to uh, not to be as soft as um, the EW10 J4 clutch components. I'm talking about the complete as okay. Now we don't use the word clutch component, just the clutch pedal. The EW10 J4, in fact, every other EW10 uh, engine or every other EW engine that's not EW12, their clutch pedal is softer when everything is in order. They are softer to the press than that of the V6 and the EW12 J4 used in. Uh, between 2000 to 2002. Now, I'm not saying they are very hard to operate. That oh, if you buy a V6 manual or 
EW12 J446 Madma. Oh, that is going to be paining you. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, one is softer than the other. And the one that is softer for is the EW10 J4. The amount, the crush pedal is very, very light to depress. You can hardly feel anything. Also, when people complain, oh, I can't drive manual in traffic, I'm struggling, my leg will pain. I was like, when was the last time I actually driven the, a, a modern Peugeot car? Because even the back then, during the time of 504, some of them have a, a hydraulic system. They were not even that hard to depress. So I don't even know where people are coming from. Either they are becoming, especially men, they are getting, becoming too feminine to be complaining all the time. Even when something that is not even you are complaining. So I don't know. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. So, um, like I was saying, it's not as hard as... I don't know, those are older clutch uh, pedals, but they are not as soft as the EW10 or EW7 or EW10 J4S, whatever you call it, they are not as soft as those ones. So, um, in that case, you say, okay, um, uh, the, anybody that uses uh, like 406 EW10, uh, EW7, whatever, who enjoy the clutch, the manner because it is soft. This is softer. But then, what that happened was from 2003, Peugeot now revised, not in Nigeria because in Nigeria they did not produce forces with EW12 J4 engine. Uh, so they now revise it. I think in some European country we have forces produced there. They now have um, a gearbox or more like the clutch unit. There's the pressure plate and the friction plate and the rest. Now use uh, that of uh, some, uh, same, almost same uh, clutch pressure plate, release bearing and friction plate of that of EW10 J4. So which now makes it uh, as almost the same thing, no more difference in terms of uh, the pressure uh, or, or what the pressure you use to press the, the clutch pedal. So, you can, in fact, if you are driving that 2003 um, E12 uh, manual in 406, you can't tell. The only way to tell that uh, is actually EW12 is the movement of the car because it can be very fun to drive compared to EW10. EW10, yeah, you can enjoy it, but when you drive the EW12 406 manual, you know what I'm talking about. So, that's the only difference. The, the movement of the car and the way the car moves, take off and the rest, you know that, okay, oh no, this can be EW10 or EW7 or whatever. That's the only way to tell if you are not looking into inside the engine bay. Uh, so, that's, if you are sitting behind the CRA wheel, that's when to tell that, no, this is not EW10 in the engine bay. Because they've now used uh, similar clutch um, units, complete kit from the older model. While if this is maintained that same design, um, uh, design that's the one I told you about, they started using, in fact, right from uh, 1995, in fact, the first ES engine, uh, is it? Uh, yeah, the first year, that's ES9J4. That's when they started using that clutch uh, design. The function plate, the pressure plate, that's when that unit started. So they maintained it from now, even from 2000, let's just say from 1995 to wherever. They've been using that unit. Uh, at least I know people that have changed, yeah, people that have changed uh, their clutch kit uh, from uh, the D8 V6, that's ES9 J4, still have to buy that of. Um, the one used on ES9 J4, so I think it's the same thing. Uh, though I will confirm when I confirm, I will state it in the video description. But I'm very sure of ES9 J4 and ES9 A, the same clutch kit. So the same maintain that one, which, like I said, can be a little bit not hard. But when you drive it every time J4, you know they are not they are not the same. Because it's very big, if you see the clutch pressure plate big and the way even the release behind, the way it's attached on it to show you that uh, the other will be softer to, to the press. So, 
now uh from 2000 now uh what is it is it yeah now uh 407 was not produced after 406 which if i 407 replaced 406 so when that happened for ew12j4 uh pojonas uh, put a six speed uh, manual gearbox instead of five speed in the e12 406 that's when they started producing 406 they started with five speed manual now they've uh, change it to C speed in from 407. So what that happened was in that 407 the gearbox now uh, of course it's still it's no longer it doesn't look as uh, like the one of in 406 that 2002 it kind of looks like that of the manual gearbox they put in 2003 E12. Let me put it in a different way. If you sit in any Pojo 406 that has uh, Pojo 406 with EW12J4 engine that has uh, the reverse is front reverse, not the normal, you know, like this. No. As long as you, 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 to put the reverse, you have to do it like they shift uh, the knob here or before you shift it to the to the front where gear one usually goes into. If you have any 406 with that thing, you know that that gearbox has the clutch, uh, what is it called? The EW10J4 clutch uh, pleasure, similar to that of, the clutch case is similar to that of EW10J4. It's no longer that old design. So that's where I'm coming from. So in, in 407 EW12 manual, they introduced that same gearbox, or similar gearbox. The only difference is, the other one in 2003 is five speed, but now they now made it six speed. So it's almost the same thing. The same thing with the clutch uh, units. That is, I'm not talking about the clutch master, slave cylinder, no. I'm talking about those things inside the bear housing between the engine and the gearbox. Clutch pressure plate, clutch fusion plate, release behind, and the clutch fork, the rail, whatever. So it now looks like that used in other EW engine, lesser powered in EW engine. So which now makes it as soft as the normal EW10 J4 uh, clutch pedal. However, um, the pleasure plate of this C-speed one or the one with a uh, front reverse or any if I any EW12 J4 engine that has front reverse gearbox manual gearbox the friction plate yes is similar to that of this thing but it's not really identical honestly I said uh, I'm not I can't really say I can identify one from the other but I do know that the part numbers are different even though they were produced almost at the same time but they say have different part numbers I don't know why so, but what I've observed here, like here in Nigeria, is um, they only sell the one uh, they put in EW10J4. So, if you drive 407 and uh, 407 E12, at some point you lose your clutch kit or it fails, and you are buying the one you eventually will buy, the complete kit will be the one from the one for EW10J4. And my observation is most times uh, when people be in their cars, uh, especially with that 407 E12 manual, I also observe that such as when you are shifting to gear two, when they are, when you want to shift to gear two, you know it will make that. Uh, I'm trying to find it's just that the engine is not running. And I'm showing you to make one kind of gear that before it goes in very well. Make it go then before it enters but every other gear enters very well but when it comes to that gear to the gear just uh, i don't want this to go very well okay that's halfway into it you hear one more you look as if you did not depress your clutch pedal fully i've noticed that on most of ew12 especially nigerian use that's why i say it's likely that's the cost especially nigerian use uh, that long for a long time here so probably the users in Nigeria have changed the clutch kit uh, and uh, ended up putting the one for EW10J4 even though they all look alike you can't actually tell like I said I'm yet to find identify the difference but I do know 
the part numbers are not the same so there has to be a difference if not why would they produce uh, something as different you know give it a different part number and like i said they all produce at the same time so there there has to be a reason why they decide to do that one it to be different so it could be the reason why when you are now shifting to gear two on the speed, six-speed manual gearbox for EW12, most of them in Nigeria, if you are shifting to gear two, it will give you that grand noise. So if your own is not doing that, it means the clutch kit is the there, especially the pressure, the flip, the pressure plate is still that of the EW12 J4, not for EW10 J4. So um, maybe someday I'm going to find a way to crack that into, you know, to to identify which one is which. What they sell here is aftermarket. Original, yes, value. Aftermarket, uh, but, uh, you know, aftermarket, uh, they come with their own part number. So I think what I'll do is I'll get that part number, the one they sell here, and then do my research to know which specifically is that one meant for. Because I hardly get that, hear that sound on uh, 407, 406, or 607 with EW10J4. But for when it comes to EW12, on some of them, they do make that noise. So, um, now, like I said, the VCs, you have no other option. You just have to be using that uh, clutch kit. However, it's not, like I said, don't get me wrong, that is very heavy. No. You have to go and check it first, go and drive one, even if you don't move the car, just start the car. You have to start the car to understand. Or even when the car is off. You can just press it down and see. Though most times it's usually softer when the engine is running. I don't even know why. So, but when it's stationary, not uh, you know. Well, basically the same. But you drive, you will see the difference. Just the press, the, the you know the V6 E12 and then E10. You see the difference. But don't get me wrong. Some, if they are faulty already, especially the clutch pressure plate, that's where the sign usually starts. If the other one has started failing. It may be hard to depress, even if it's EW10 J4 engine. You will feel very heavy. Even when it's bearing, when it starts failing, it can also do the same thing, irrespective of the engine. But I'm saying, if like uh, all conditions being equal, if all the three E12 VCs and the uh, E10 have the same new or good uh, condition clutch uh, units, or pressure pad and release behind it. Just go and press them. You will feel that it then is much softer or very light. You can't even feel fast. You will feel as if uh, it's even faulty. Now maybe there's no. It doesn't even move the gear. Uh, the the really clutch fork. Now there's no hydraulic in the system. It's just going flat. That's how good it is. So this is you just have to. Yeah, it lasts very durable, but. You know, there's no other one you can do that use than that one manufacturer for it. But for E12, now if you have an EW12 uh, with the gearbox produced around that time, 2002, 2001 to 2002, even if it's not for Pojo 406, because they put it in different other model, Pojo models like 807 and the rest. So on probably other C12 cars. Or PSA vehicles. <coughs> now, what I would suggest to you to do, so that you start enjoying what other guys are enjoying, is, for example, if you are using forces, you can put swap in the gearbox of that of 2003 for E12. Now, it may not be all of E2003. E uh, even VCs produced in 2003 in falling, you know, falling production. Most of them come with that front reverse assembly so you can use that gearbox because the clutch um, pressure plate uh, uh, friction plate whatever is, is that similar to that of EW10 so if you put it it become very very soft that's if your problem is that oh the even the good uh, normal V6 pressure plate is too hard for you or the normal EW12, the one that is bigger, that have the design of this, is still feels hard for you. Now, there is an option to do. And, uh, of course, you can now use that opportunity. Instead of using the 5, putting, you know, putting back the 2003 one, which is 5-speed, you can now put 6-speed manual gearbox 
from the one removed from Pojo 407. So, which makes sense to me. Yeah, you can put it in your phone. See, if I, for example, if I have a Pojo 406 with EW12J4 engine, whether it's the one with the front reverse, as long as it's 5 speed, I'm going to swap in 6 speed manual there. All for Pojo 407 with uh, uh, EW12J4 engine and uh, manual transmission, they all have 6 speed manual. So they are available. All you need to do is go and look for one buy. <coughs> it's the same CV joints. You don't need to. I don't think you need to change your CV joints or your drive shafts. They are the same length. So all you need to do now is to look for. Um, the amount may change. The 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 that bracket uh, attached directly on the gearbox that comes up and now goes to the gearbox mount or uh, enters to the mount plate. There's a plate bed plate attached on the chassis. So, um, but that amount of this may change, may not be the same. I can't remember. No, I've done that conversion once. It can, it's, it can not be the same. So, that's the only thing that I need to change. Other than that, the gearbox will fit in. So, you start enjoying the six-speed manual. Now, um, is the six-speed manual uh, more efficient? In the city, there are no more difference. In fact, uh, research I've done showed that even in this, when you drive in the city, the four speed, the five speed manual gearbox tend to consume less than even the six speed. However, on highway, no matter what you do, the the six speed will always consume less. Manual gearbox, not saying automatic, will always consume less. So if you drive, uh, do a lot of long distance, the six speed manual gearbox will serve you more in terms of uh, less fuel consumption. And there also less uh, stress on the engine, you know, because it reduces the RPM. Like, for example, if you are if you are using five-speed manual and uh, doing one hundred and twenty kilometers per hour, and the same vehicle, uh, similar vehicle with same engine that has a six-speed manual, uh, if your RPM with your five-speed manual is hitting like three thousand five hundred. Uh, at that uh, 120 kilometers per hour on gear 5. The person with gear 6 doing the same speed, 120 kilometers per hour may probably be around 2,005 or 3,000 miles. So there will be different. The RPM will always be lower, meaning less fuel consumption at high speed. So um, I think, uh, I don't know if I've, for this, like I said, uh, um, it's all it's the same thing whether it's front reverse or normal reverse like this, it's the same clutch kit, same clutch release behind, same friction plate, and same uh, pressure plate. So, unless maybe there's a kind of type of aftermarket that can fit in, I don't know, of course, it's possible. But I'm talking about OEM, not necessarily OEM as in the factory, the one factory design, the one they design that comes with the factory. You can see by aftermarket, but if you want that design that came with the vehicle, um, it's just like that from 94 to 20. When did they even start putting manual? I think like 2008 or so, because I think it was uh, uh, 407 uh, VC school uh, that had uh, manual gearbox in VCs. Last, that's the last manual gearbox uh, VCs ever had in Pojo cars. So, which I think maybe 2009 or 2008 that they ended the production for the manual in that car. So, um, do I want to see if uh, if it's, it's as hard as um, I'm suggesting? Because I'm not saying up to my mind now, this is not complaining. But I do know the difference when I drive the 407 EW12 manual. And the 407, uh, or whether 406 or 307, uh, oh, okay, 307, are they different? But what I'm saying, basically, EW10, EW7, they are this thing are very, very soft for the ones that are, their clutch are still very good. So, yeah, I suggest you do the conversion. If you have a, a 406, whatever, E12, just convert it to 6 speed and then use the normal distance. 
Now, I know, like I said, the only problem you may encounter is that friction plate. You ask the only problem because you may not get the OEM. If you are looking for OEM, that means you use the part number. Since you may not find the OEM, the one they have here is probably the one for EW10J4. So it may be giving you that sign on gear 2. So like I said, I need to crack it to know why that is happening. Because initially, I thought there was one 407 I was working on that was that had EW12J4 engine. So at the point, we needed to change the clutch kit. The person said he couldn't afford new one, so he got a very good uh, used one. Very good used one that looks very okay. Has a complete key, pressure, play, friction, play, like this behind. Mounted it, it's just doing the same thing the other one was doing. Once you get to gear 2, you make that noise. But it's when he's about to enter gear 2, a little, you make that gear. Uh, but I'm not sure he does it in other gears, but it's gear 2. You know, so. I said, okay, maybe when you can afford it, just buy a new one. Thinking that it's, uh, it's probably because it's a uh, used one, even though it looked new, but it was used. I was Tokumbo, fully used. Two other 407 came, and I could tell maybe they changed the pleasure plate at some point or the complete key. And they were doing the same thing. However, each time I drive the Tokumbo ones, they don't do it. Or the ones people that bought in, they've not done any kind of clutch work on the vehicle. They will be working very fine, I think they are too fine, but once they have used the car in Nigeria for a long time and you realize that it has changed, it means that person probably have changed the clutch kit and bought the the, the pleasure plate for EW10 and mount it. Because the truth is, original one, original clutch kit, like the value, they don't sell it separately, like, okay, you want to buy clutch uh, pleasure plate. You know, pleasure plate is the one they call clutch disc. Let me explain it for those who don't know. Nigeria has called it clutch disc. So, uh, but the true name is pleasure plate or clutch mechanism. You know, it has so many names anyway. But the general name is clutch pleasure plate. So, that plate, um, I even forgot what I was trying to say. Uh, whatever, anyway, the just, uh, I wanted to find the way. So see if um, they sell that uh, pleasure place separately. No, I don't. They don't. The thing is, that is the truth. They don't sell. But if I want, can I can, if I can find the part number, even if it's value, the complete kit, the part number for that EW12 six-speed manual, then I can now recommend it and say, okay, if you are changing this, look for this part number. It will help you. Even though EW10 one works, you know, I've never seen anybody that say, ah, oh, the gear failed because of that noise, or the clutch key failed, just that that noise will always be there. So that once you are getting into the gear too, you make that small again, okay? then it will still go in, you know, but you make the sound small. Okay, um, that video is uh, 28 minutes now, it's too long now. So guys, uh, if you have any questions, just post it there and ask, and uh, if I have anything to add to this, I'll do a second part of the video. Alright, so...